Good morning, everybody. How are we doing today? Um, so, it's still wet here. Uh, it's it's rained a lot in the last two weeks. So, two weeks ago today, on a Wednesday and Thursday, I don't know, whatever the date was, uh, we had about four inches of rain right here, and it was wet. It was super dry before that, so it really wasn't as wet as you would think, but it was still wet. Uh, we did get in the fields there a little bit, and then on Saturday, it started raining again, and since Saturday, uh, we've had another almost three inches, like 2.9. So we've had seven inches of rain in the last two weeks, and yeah, it's the fields are going to be soft, it's muddy, it's going to be a challenge for a while moving forward for harvest here. Not going to be in the fields today, I don't think, um, but the water is starting to go down and, and things are drying up. Yesterday, I spent a bunch of time on the computer catching up on some uh, accounting stuff, seed business stuff. I um, did a little bit of analytics stuff on some of the yield data that we've already grabbed uh, for the year, and I, I will show you some of that when I get back to the office here later this afternoon, probably. Uh, right now, I am heading to church. Um, we're putting some new LED lights in at the church, and I'm helping do that. In fact, I think I am doing that. So I'm going to go work on that for a little while this morning. Now that we've got a little bit of downtime, things are a little bit quieter and uh, not quite so crazy busy with harvest. Uh, when I get back later this morning, Dad and I are going to head to Berkey and take a look around there. Uh, as wet as it is here, it is maybe a touch drier there. We had more rain two weeks ago when we got that four inches here. We had like five almost six down there um but we've only had about an inch since saturday there so it's it's drier i don't know if it's dry enough to go there but that's what we're gonna go find out so dad and i are gonna head to berkey we're gonna take a look around at the fields if we can harvest down there before we can harvest here we will pull out and drive everything to berkey 35 miles east of here and um we'll go we'll go do our stuff down there I would like to finish the field that we're in first at least, but you never know. The other side of the other thing to consider here is that they're calling for rain the next two days, Wednesday and Thursday this week, right? No, Thursday and Friday this week. Uh, today's Wednesday. And um, we might wait until this system passes just to see, you know, if how, how much rain we get, when we're going to be in the fields, that kind of stuff. So we're making a plan right now. We're trying to figure stuff out and uh, we'll, we'll get back in the fields eventually. You guys want to learn how to change a light? I've got a couple done there. We've got a bunch to do, and this one is next because it's not working. The first thing we do is shut the power off. Then, you got to open up the cover and pull the bulbs. And then, we got to pop this little cover off. It covers up all the electrical stuff. And then, we've got a white wire and an orange wire that we need to disconnect. Pull the wire nuts off. Now I need to open up the ceiling around it. I am not sure exactly when these lights were installed, but it was a long time ago, I do know that. And they used, well, let me turn the light. They used rigid, well, EMT conduit hard directly into these light fixtures. So, that's got to come off. We're using flexible on the new stuff. Anyway, um, so I need to get that fitting over there apart. Okay, so I got the wires out, and I took the uh, conduit connector out of that box because the flexible doesn't fit in it, and I need a new connector. Um, they stuffed a few wires in there. Holy cow. All I have to do is be able to get up there to get the wire nut back on. The new one but okay now we're ready to take the old white fixture down which i need two hands for so sorry you can't watch so these are what we're putting in they're a led panel real flat skinny um we got to prep it so we got to put the power supply on here which is right here a couple of screws we got to take these two screws out and put that on there so this uh led panel here has some really nice just push connect fittings to connect these wires to so I can do the 
white side of it now and then we'll have to do the input side once we get it installed. All right, now I think I'm ready to stick it up there in the opening. Okay, now we just gotta connect the wires. Um, I need to get a piece of flexible cut to fit those wires or to fit what I need and then, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got the uh, box connector put in over there or the flexible conduit with my wires through it. So now I need to thread them into this box and then we'll trim the wires after we get this put in where it needs to be. I'm have to loosen them. Oh, there it goes. Something like that. Now these um, white and orange wires that are the ground, uh, the neutral and the power, they also have a little push to connect slide fitting. The problem is they use 12 gauge wire here, which is, it's as big as that'll take. So it does fit, but it's a little tight. All right, um, I probably shouldn't point this out because, you know, but somebody's gonna notice and say something. So yes, there are only two wires. There is no third ground, third wire ground, but the conduit is all metal all the way back to the box. So it acts as the ground wire in this application. And it's good, so I'm gonna put the cover on. And we should be good. We're gonna try it before we close it all up because, you know, just in case. Good deal. They definitely make a difference. I don't know how much you guys can see that, but uh, they're a lot brighter, better, especially this one that wasn't working anyway. So cool. That is unfortunately all I have time to do today. I gotta get back so dad and I can go to Berkey, but I'm gonna keep working on these when I get a chance. All right, well, that's kind of my little side project that I've been working on here, or going to work on when I get chances. But that room is uh, kind of our social room. It's the basement of the church. They use it for Sunday school and other things. So it's not super critical that it has to be done right now, but it would be nice to have good lights down there. And the old fluorescents are just not good. The ballasts are going out, the bulbs are bad. It's just, we decided to replace them with LED. Somebody else donated the lights. I told them I would help them install them. So. That's the plan. We're going to keep working on that. Anyway, Dad and I are heading to Berkey here pretty soon, so i got to get back to the farm so that um, uh, we can go see what we got. Dad's been working through his pile of hickory that he had over here. He was building a wood rack to, kick, to hold other wood stuff. I'll show you if I can find it. Yeah, there it is. He's got all these stickers for putting the board between the boards when he saw milling and needed a way to contain them. I don't know where he's at. Oh, we haven't made it to Berkey yet, but stopping to check a field. It's not, I mean, it's soft, no doubt, but it's not sticking to my shoes. Beans sound wet. Yeah, no crack. Just dry. Oh, yeah, they're wet. Still haven't made it to Berkey, but... Another field to stop and look at. Corn here. It's not super soft, but it's sticky. We'd make a mess out here. Tire spot. The corn's starting to look weathered. You can really see it darkening up. This one's standing pretty good, though. Stalks are good. This one's going to sit here for a while, I think. We've made it to Berkey, finally. These beans look really good. Tall. They're thick. <clears throat> it's not dry. Maybe a little drier here than Waldron? I don't know. The beans sound a little drier. Still pretty mushy. What? Holy cow, look at that! The neighbor's shelling corn over there. Oh, go get the combine, Dad. Three hours to get here. Yeah. Back at our uh, farm down here. We're gonna take some of this scaffolding home. I need some of it to work on my house a little bit. So opening the door up, Dad's gonna back in. Phil's down here cleaning out some bins, getting the drain system ready for when we do come down here. Still not sure if that's gonna be soon or we're gonna keep trying to work around Waldron first. I don't think there's a whole lot here that really needs to be done. I did rob a part off the burner for this uh, dryer during wheat harvest when we needed it for wheat. There was a vapor 
high limit sensor switch something that was went bad on our dryer at Waldron it's the same on this one so I take it off Phil got that reinstalled yesterday let's walk out here and see what this ground looks like what this corn looks like these ends are notoriously wet and terrible and just not great so we're gonna walk in past the end rows to really get a feel for it this is 110 day corn it did get sprayed with a fungicide but it's really bad against tar spot doesn't have great stalk strength so uh, if we can come and get it sooner rather than later that would be good whoa buddy tire track from the sprayer we got to get past that here's the sprayer track from fungicide well it's standing pretty good I don't see a ton of stuff down across the rows a little bit down there but not bad the ground is pretty soft it's yeah that's not good it's sticky look at all that tar spot wow this got sprayed and it still looks like that that's just oh man this disease is nasty i don't know if you guys got tar spot where you're at the rest of you farmers but hope that you don't because it's a bad deal. I still think this corn is going to be really good, just based on that ear size like that out here in the middle of the field. I don't know what I mean, we're not in the middle, but we're not exactly on an end here, so. 250? 250 maybe? It might be. Okay, well, we're back at Waldron here. Um, I was, I've been getting pricing for my seed treatment stuff. Finally, finally, I've been asking for prices for a month and nobody would give me any and they're still a little hesitant because things change so fast apparently, but at least I have something I can compare. I need to get a few more around so I've told the different salesmen that I'm working with what I need from them for that and uh, hopefully we can make some decisions soon. They have an early order period in October, 1st to the 31st of October is when I have to buy them. There's huge rebates attached to doing that that are necessary if I'm gonna make any money. Um, but we gotta get it all figured out. So anyway, I was working on that. We brought that scaffolding back from Berkey. We've got another section here. So I'm gonna take this down to my seed warehouse, or to my house, not seed warehouse, my house. And we're gonna set that up. I'll show you what I need it for and what we're gonna work on down there a little bit. All right, so I got the scaffolding brought down here and set up. So this is our little covered porch, back patio kind of area. Um, so we've got this big beam that runs across there and the plan at the moment uh, is dad and I are going to wrap that beam with some wood that he's got and the ones on the side there. They're going to put vinyl soffit for a ceiling up following the slope of the roof there and uh, we're going to wrap those beams and I got to figure out what we're going to do for posts exactly yet. Um, we're also going to do some decorative going up and kind of on an angle up there from the peak down. So uh apparently we need to get that done before they put the vinyl soffit up so that they know where to trim around so we were going to replace this with a bigger beam but i think what dad decided that he wanted to do is to actually just leave that there and we'll just use some inch and a half wide um oak to wrap it which will give us like a four and a half inch wide post and then we're going to come off from there and kind of run up on an angle. I gotta figure out exactly how we want it to look um, to the sides there and at least put a block in that we can nail into when we do put it in or just install it now if that's how we want to do it and we've got it ready. So that's the plan here and what we're thinking about doing. And then, uh, yeah, we've got some stuff happening on the house, which is awesome. So let me show you around. I know it's been a while since we've done any updates, but honestly, it's been a while since anything's really happened here. So, so they were here today. They trimmed out these basement windows, which looks nice. I like that. Got a little cleaning up to do down there, but uh, that is good. Did this one over here as well. Uh -huh. Very nice. But the big development of the day, check it out. We have a front door. Oh, a front door. We've been waiting and waiting and waiting for that. That is the reason that we don't have siding on the rest of the house because they needed that door in place to put the siding around it and apparently they didn't want to do that 
do the rest of the house and then have to come back and finish it. I don't know. Anyway, it's here. Sighting's coming next week. I'm excited about that. The boys came out to see the house. Look, we've got a garage door. And they put a door right there to the basement steps. The other door into the house is here, just not installed. I know, bud. And we've got all the interior doors here, so that's excellent. They've also got all of this stuff. Uh, I hear they're coming probably Monday or before to do the finishing on the drywall. All right, well, we are going to head home for the night. It is um, starting to mist, and I don't know. looks like we're going to have to get through the next couple of days here, this next system that's moving through, and see what we get. We're not supposed to get as much rain as we have out of the last ones, but we weren't supposed to get as much the last time as we did either. So, who knows? Um, but it is still plenty wet. We couldn't have been in the fields today if we wanted to, I don't think. And... Uh, it's good that we're as far ahead as we are with harvest and hopefully we'll uh, get back at it here pretty quick but finding things to do for the next couple of days I guess so thanks for watching everybody have a good rest of your night there's a good chance I'm not gonna make a video tomorrow so I'm sorry it is what it is I just don't have a ton going on I might go back and work on those lights some more uh, Brayson will be with me tomorrow most of the day maybe we'll drive around and see some seed customers I don't know we'll figure it out but thanks for watching see you guys tomorrow no Probably not tomorrow. I don't know. See you when I see you.